Welcome to another episode of the CE Tool Den. Today we're doing a walkthrough at Lowe's. And first up for the tool deals is this clearance rack. Awesome, so awesome. And I think all this is on sale because they gotta fix those batteries that are leaking. A lot of people have having that black leak. And what that is, is uh, that thermal paste and it melts in extra heat. And that's what all that black stuff, sludge that's coming out of those batteries. Um, it's nothing really bad. It's not going to really affect the battery function, although it, it needs to be replaced. I don't know if Flex is going to be replacing the batteries as, and count towards the one of the three replacements for their lifetime. I do not know that. I can't tell you for sure. But I can tell you that we have awesome clearance deals here at Lowe's on Flex stuff and Bosch and so forth. So let's see what we have today. Well, we have the quarter inch impact driver this is not their turbo this is their lower tiered 1800 inch pounds of torque and that's $98 now this is the turbo two-pack kit let's find out what that is oh and by the way here is their drill, drill driver the regular one not the high torque the turbo this is just a regular $98 so they it's a good deal here we go this is says $349 but I don't know if that's gonna be cheaper they do have the high power impact driver for 80 bucks. And this is their drill, regular drill driver, not the turbo. They have the screw gun with the collated attachment for 127.20. That's worth it. Uh, does this come in a kit or is this? Oh, it's a tool only. So that's a good deal. I do that. The flex. Sidewinder with 10.0 battery. Last time we were here, it was 199, and it's still 199. If you see this in your store, jump on this deal. I may jump on it, but I don't know why. And then they have the turbo by itself, the seven and a quarter inch, and then the impact wrench. Hold on, let me see if there's a price on that. So the seven and a quarter inch is 319. And that comes with the power stack. I'm not sure what battery it is. I want to say the 6.0. And then the turbo drill, no price on that. But the impact wrench of high torque is 349. They have a power stack combo kit with the drill and impact. 287 was 319 then they have this brushless Bosch hammer the BL hammer and drill and that's $79 from 169 they have a cobalt radio well that's a mini radio and that's $40 your mileage may vary on some of these tools so keep an eye out So those BL hammers right, right down there are 79. Then they have the 12 volt sander for 119. They're doing this display for 148. We got some good deals here. The flex light is 30 bucks. That's not, that's actually not a bad deal. I think that's that might be worth jumping on. They're selling this for 127, but you can get it in the box too only with the collated attachment, all the stuff for 127. So I go that route. I'm telling you, I'm still thinking about this, but I have too many circ saws. Oh, we got more. There's another rack. Look at this. Metabo HBT. $24.98 for the 50 piece set. I mean, for the 45 piece set. $29.98 for the 50 piece. Whoa. $14.98 for their five piece impact nut drivers. Dude. And then we go, we got some batteries. Stack pack batteries are $183 for the 6.0s. I don't know if those are if those have those issues with those uh, 
with that thermal paste, that leakage. I know it's only the regular batteries, as far as I know. Um, even the wall, the 3.3 amp, 21700, 6950. That's a deal. That's not a super deal, but... 199 for this flex stack pack. Mm, I know we can do better. We have a two pack of 4.0s with the fast charger for 134 in the Craftsman. That's a that's a decent deal, but we've seen them for $99 during Christmas. 18 volt die, uh, angle grinder. No idea. Oh, $79. We have 18 volt impact triple hammer, 99. The drill driver 18 volt is 79. The triple hammer, I uh, mean, is that the hammer drill? No, that's the impact. So, yes. Then you have a seven and a quarter inch 36 volt. So this is the one to get 179. The recip saw that's 36 volt 143. And they have more Bosch stuff. Impact tool tool combo kit 249 for this version. And that's the freak. I don't know what generation freak that is. They have the 90 the 99 199 version. That's not a freak, that's just a regular impact and drill. So we're doing I'm gonna tell you people, this is the place to be. This is Okay, so they have their one inch SDS, I believe this is tool only, yep. And this one is on the flex 23920. Huh. And as we look ahead, I'm still in love with that deal right there. That's the deal. I, I'm, I'm telling you, that's the deal of the day. That one right there is the deal of the day. Okay, now on this side we have the batteries. 18 volt for 2.0, 23. Here's a 36 volt. Is this the... Okay, so this is the 4.0 slash 8.0 model. 135, that's decent. That's pretty good. So they have two of them here in stock. And then they have this 36 volt. That's with the 4.0 slash 2.0. Multi-volt, 199 Eh, we could do better than that. But I'm telling you, kicking off here, we're starting off with some sick, sick deals. Sick deals. So far, so good. I can't wait to get to the client section because that I'm going to be buying some client stuff today. All right, we have tool storage here. Craftsman 2000 series. When you purchase the chest and cabinet together, 798 from ninth day. Now this is a deal. This is a good deal. You have your your middle strip because if you put it on one side, then you're limited as to putting what stuff you want on, on the side. In the middle, you can go either side. Soft clothes, people. That's a nice set. All right, typical storage here. This is skinny one. Is now if you buy them together, it's five twenty eight. Save seventy dollars. So the top by itself is on sale for two thirty nine from two sixty nine, and the bottom is two eighty nine from three twenty nine. Getting some early deals. Even the red ones on sale. Okay, because last time they only had the black one on sale. Now we have the red one on sale. Same deal. I like it. I like it. We have the bottom workstation 41 inch 399 for 449 so that's the regular deal regular price now it's on sale and this is the one that has the big draw on the top and this the bigger drawers on the left side and the smaller drawers on the right side they have this cobalt one this one's this one's a really nice looking little rolling workstation chest and that's 498 All right, now we have more storage. The cobalt stuff, Craftsman trade stack right here. Uh, we'll be getting the new trade stack drawers hopefully soon. 
I really like this set. I'm, I'm going to be honest. One of the best buys I could ever have made was been getting in the trade stack platform because they, I tell you, Craftsman's on a roll with their trade stack system. They, they, they're always, always like just, they kept, they exploded with all the products they came out with. And I like the fact that Cobalt has their own. It's a very nice system. I think, but like I said in, a, in a, another video, that Husky one, that tree piece build out system they have. Whoa, that thing's beast. It's very heavy duty. I think it's slightly above the Cobalt. But it is, the Cobalt is fantastic. It's heavy duty. I'm not gonna say it's not. The, the Cobalt stuff's heavy duty. I wish we would get new tapes like the Blade Defense from Craftsman, which we haven't seen. This is their newest blade. I like to see a double-sided, a double-sided uh, tape measure from Craftsman, like the Blade Defense, but with fractional read on both sides. There's not too many uh, brands that have fractional read on both sides. There's only a very few, and I think that's the way that a lot of these companies should go with 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 their tape measures. Fractional read have both sides with the fractional read and the and the uh, that heavy tape, those heavy tapes. You know, fractional read both sides with numbered you can't go wrong magnets. Then that's another thing is you got to have the magnet or an option to put the magnet in. Then we have hammers. I'm going to tell you, I'm impressed with this cobalt hammer. I really like these cobalt hammers. They remind me of like a little bit of, well, a lot of the S-Wing, but with that extra curve where the X-Wings are usually a straight shaft, which is sold here at Lowe's. See, here's that S-Wing. But for you tradespeople, you know S-Wing is the real deal. You know you can't. You don't mess around with that. S wing is legit. Legit. I wonder if they're gonna have S wing pry bars too. And cat's claws. Yeah, I know they have like well they have those, but I'm talking about like the small ones that are like oh, okay. They do have them. I wasn't even paying attention. I might get this today. I I don't want it an S wing one for a while. I have the bigger one. I think this is the one I have, or is it, hold on. Yeah, I think it's this one. Or that one, I don't know. Brain font in here. But this is another nice, that's a molding puller. That's good. I know uh, Cobalt has a new molding puller too. And I like this cobalt set. Look at that the little pry bar and cobalt. I'm thinking about getting this too. But I'd rather just have the pry bars. Only for the pry bars. I don't see too many mini pry bars here. Oh, we have the Craftsman nail sets. Uh, let's see what we got. We got blades. By Cobalt 75 piece 1198. Here is your high vis 1498 tool set, which is the equivalent of this version. I'm thinking about getting these for my truck toolbox just because I need to upgrade from that Pittsburgh set that they have, like that big Pittsburgh tool set that, that you just throw in the truck just to have. I'm gonna upgrade those tools to something better quality and the Craftsman is the better quality than that crappy Pittsburgh stuff I have. I mean, it's worked to this day and stuff, but I'm not not feeling it. I'd rather go up, upgrade all the pliers, screwdrivers to a mini hammer and everything like that. Everything in between. I'm not seeing too much deal-wise. tell you, Cobalt has stepped up their game with their woodworking stuff like chisels and hand saws and files they've come out with a lot of stuff this is something new i haven't seen this before a precision file set 12.98 and it comes with a little bag 
All right, you know what? That is going to have to go on my list. Okay, that's going on the list. See, even they even have these black oxide files. What the heck, people? Get into that. Get into that. Let's see this cobalt three-piece file set. 1998. So this this one is 39.98, but that's a that's a pretty big set, substantial. And then they have the hacksaw blades. Although I'd still go Lennox over the cobalt because they got the the rep. They even have a tough built hacksaw blade. Well, I'm 100% on the Lennox for here. Jorgensen's got their fair share of chisels. They even, Tough Belt's got its own folding pull saw. Like the Japanese pull saw. Nice. Let's see what else we got. Hey, nothing really good as far as deals are concerned. These are still on sale. Last time I was here, the Pony 2 pack Sawhorse Clamps, $99 for a 2 pack. That's a buy it now price if you want to get a pair of Sawhorses that's a good quality. Gators down about a dollar, oh, 70 cents on their sandpaper. All different grits. Let's see what they got for the wheels. Oh, this is those new pro wheels they have, the cutoff discs. Four, four and a half inch. So it's a five four, get a fifth one free. So this is a five pack for the price of four. I have to try those on. I don't know how I feel about those because I don't don't have those at all. Never used them. I've used other the regular the waltz, but I don't know how much better those are. I normally use Diablo. There you go, diamond blade, thousand cuts from Lennox Metal Max. Nice. Gotta love the Lennox. Here we go. <clears throat> Looks like Spider-Man. Spider's going to be uh, having a deal on these. But right now, it's priced at this. So these are masonry blade tiles. Actually, you know what? I should try these. And, and like I said, I normally get Diablos. But these, I like Spiders. Spiders got some good stuff. I know there's some people in the industry that aren't fans of Spider. But you can be sure that the CE Tool Den is a fan of Spider. In Diablo. And all the good blades that we have. Here's that awesome Craftsman jump light table saw with the fold out stand. That's a really nice table saw. There's Cobalt's old table saw. Here's Cobalt's new table saw. Why buy this table saw for $2.99, old gen? And get new gen for 244 because this has the rack and pinion fence. Look at this and a 32 and a half inch rip capacity, 5,000 RPMs. When comparable compared to the the Walt 32, same 32 and a half, 4,800 RPMs. We know this is a standard when it comes to job site table saws. This set the standard, the Metabo is the one I have at home, and I absolutely love that Metabo. That Metabo has got a 35 and an eighth inch cut capacity. That Metabo is fantastic on another level, as is this. This has an awesome rack and pinion fence. This is the one that sets the standard for rack and pinion fence systems. Let's test it out. Okay, I'm gonna say that the, the DeWalt one is still smoother. But the cobalt is still smooth. And they both have the wheels. Look at the wheels on that. Look at the wheels on that. I'm going to say the cobalt wheels look way much better than the, the wall. Although the, the wall does have a nice rubber. But it's a more of a plasticky rubber where the cobalt is fully all rubber. They have a different type of rolling system because you see the, the legs are like this where the legs on this one are like the cross beam so 
when you fold it up. It's nice. Both are nice. Very good comparison. But look at the price on that. $5.49 and that's on sale right now, people. Actually, this one never really goes on sale that much. So actually, I'm glad we're here. So that's a regular $649 table saw. And if you want to be on the Walt system and you like the Walt, $5.49. But when you're getting similar stats, specs, $244. That's no brainer. That's no brainer. This one. And the same thing I would say when the Metabo. I tell you, the Metabo though is more closely in line with the DeWalt. I figure the DeWalt's more rugged overall, but the Cobalt has it ruggedness. The, the blade lift is smooth on that one. Yeah, the blade lift on the, the wall, between the wall and cobalt, the wall wins on that one. Miter saws, here we go. This is 399, but this is not a slider. This is, is it? Oh, it is a slider, okay. So it's that front slider. So you can put this against the wall and not have to worry about it. And it's got a laser. Ah, I'm not a fan of lasers. I like those shadow light though. But this is a nice, a lot of people love this one. Buy this, $3.99 from $4.49. So it's a good, good old uh, miter saw. And then over here is the Bosch. And this is the, the Glide. Dual bevel, dual bevel glide miter. This is so smooth, I'm telling you. About as good as it gets. 649 though it's a, it's a pricey saw but they've earned the rep but i do i do i do like this this metabo hpt great great saw and they have their double bevel compound for 299 not a slider here is a cobalt slider 349 and this one is a 12 inch and it's not sliding they have it probably locked. But no deals on these stuff. Look at this Craftsman 10 inch. This is a really smooth sliding system too. This Craftsman for 10 inch, 249. Nice sliding mechanism. Must see because they, they're made in probably in the same factory as the uh, DeWalt. But I really like this. Nice slider. And they have a nice little uh, dust port. 114 for the compound miter saw. This is a previous gen. So this is the one that took its place. As you can see, it's a thinner base. And this one's a wider base. Honestly, it's, you know, whatever you use it for. But honestly, I'd, I'd rather go with the wider base. Some clamps. More Craig jig stuff. Do they have the... XL kit, yeah, that's the XL for $59.98. I, I keep wanting to get those, but I don't know why I don't. I, I should just pull the trigger on those. I'm not doing it today though. More blades. Here's a. Is this which one model is this? This is a 780 people. It is on sale from $649 to $499. This is a buy it now price. Um, you probably get it cheaper maybe on Christmas time. Oh, they messed up on this. The lock mechanism is supposed to be up here. So they did that so you, nobody can operate this well. I have this. This joint has been good, good to me. But I like my new Craftsman jointer that you'll be seeing in the shop once it's all 